Vitamin E is a group of eight fat-soluble compounds that include four tocopherols and four tocotrienols. Vitamin E deficiency, which is rare and usually due to an underlying problem with digesting dietary fat rather than from a diet low in vitamin E, can cause nerve problems. The crucial function played by vitamin E that makes it a vitamin is poorly understood, but may involve antioxidant functions in cell membranes. Other theories hold that vitamin E, specifically the RRR stereoisomer of alpha tocopherol, act by controlling gene expression and cell signal transduction. Worldwide, government organizations recommend adults consume in the range of 7 to 15 mg per day. As of 2016, consumption was below recommendations according to a worldwide summary of more than 100 studies that reported a median dietary intake of 6.2 mg per day for alpha tocopherol. Research with alpha tocopherol as a dietary supplement, with daily amounts as high as 2,000 mg per day, has had mixed results. Population studies suggested that people who consumed foods with more vitamin E, or who chose on their own to consume a vitamin E dietary supplement, had lower incidence of cardiovascular diseases, cancer, dementia, and other diseases, but placebo-controlled clinical trials could not always replicate these findings, and there were some indications that vitamin E supplementation actually was associated with a modest increase in all-cause mortality. As of 2017, vitamin E continues to be a topic of active clinical research. Although people commonly apply vitamin E oil to their skin to try to improve wound healing and reduce scar tissue, reviews have repeatedly concluded that there is no good evidence that this is helpful. Both the tocopherols and tocotrienols occur in alpha, alpha, beta, beta, gamma, gamma, and delta, delta forms, as determined by the number and position of methyl groups on the chrominol ring. All eight of these vitamins feature a chromane double ring, with a hydroxyl group that can donate a hydrogen atom to reduce free radicals, and a hydrophobic side chain which allows for penetration into biological membranes. Of the many different forms of vitamin E, gamma tocopherol, gamma tocopherol is the most common form found in the North American diet, but alpha tocopherol, alpha tocopherol is the most biologically active. Palm oil is a source of tocotrienols. Vitamin E was discovered in 1922, isolated in 1935 and first synthesized in 1938. Because the vitamin activity was first identified as essential for fertilized eggs to result in live births in rats, it was given the name tocopherol, from Greek words meaning birth and to bear or carry. Alpha tocopherol, either naturally extracted from plant oils or synthetic, is sold as a popular dietary supplement, either by itself or incorporated into a multivitamin product, and in oils or lotions for use on skin. Functions Vitamin E may have various roles as a vitamin. Many biological functions have been postulated, including a role as a fat-soluble antioxidant. In this role, vitamin E acts as a radical scavenger, delivering a hydrogen H atom to free radicals. At 323 kJ per mole, the OH bond in tocopherols is about 10% weaker than in most other phenols. This weak bond allows the vitamin to donate a hydrogen atom to the peroxyl radical and other free radicals, minimizing their damaging effect. The thus generated tocopherol radical is recycled to tocopherol by a redox reaction with a hydrogen donor, such as vitamin C as it is fat soluble. Vitamin E is incorporated into cell membranes, which are therefore protected from oxidative damage. Vitamin E affects gene expression and is an enzyme activity regulator, such as for protein kinase C PKC, which plays a role in smooth muscle growth, with vitamin E participating in deactivation of PKC to inhibit smooth muscle growth. Deficiency Vitamin E deficiency is rare in humans, occurring as a consequence of abnormalities in dietary fat absorption or metabolism rather than from a diet low in vitamin E. One example of a genetic abnormality in metabolism is mutations of genes coding for alpha-tocopherol transfer protein alpha -TTP. 
Humans with this genetic defect exhibit a progressive neurodegenerative disorder known as ataxia with vitamin E deficiency despite consuming normal amounts of vitamin E large amounts of alpha tocopherol as a dietary supplement are needed to compensate for the lack of alpha TTP vitamin E deficiency due to either malabsorption or metabolic anomaly can cause nerve problems due to poor conduction of electrical impulses along nerves due to changes in nerve membrane structure and function. In addition to ataxia, vitamin E deficiency can cause peripheral neuropathy, myopathies, retinopathy and impairment of immune responses. <laughs> Frequency of dietary supplement use In the United States vitamin E supplement use by female health professionals was 16.1% in 1986, 46.2% in 1998, 44.3% in 2002, but decreased to 19.8% in 2006. Similarly, for male health professionals, rates for same years were 18.9%, 52.0%, 49.4% and 24.5%. The authors theorized that declining use in these populations may have due to publications of studies that showed either no benefits or negative consequences from vitamin E supplements. Within the U.S. military services, vitamin prescriptions written for active, reserve and retired military, and their dependents, were tracked over years 2007-2011. Vitamin E prescriptions decreased by 53% while vitamin C remained constant and vitamin D increased by 454%. A report on vitamin E sales volume in the U.S. documented a 50% decrease between 2000 and 2006, with a cause attributed to a meta-analysis that had concluded that high dosage vitamin E increased all-cause mortality. Side effects. The U.S. Food and Nutrition Board set a tolerable upper intake level at 1,000 mg per day derived from animal models that demonstrated bleeding at high doses. The European Food Safety Authority reviewed the same safety question and set a UL at 300 mg per day. A meta-analysis of long-term clinical trials reported a non-significant 2% increase in all-cause mortality when alpha-tocopherol was the only supplement used. The same meta-analysis reported a statistically significant 3% increase for results when alpha-tocopherol was used by itself or in combination with other nutrients vitamin A, vitamin C, beta-carotene, selenium. Another meta-analysis reported a non-significant 1% increase in all-cause mortality when alpha-tocopherol was the only supplement. Subset analysis reported no difference between natural plant extracted or synthetic alpha-tocopherol, or whether the amount used was less than or more than 400 U per day. There are reports of vitamin E-induced allergic contact dermatitis from use of vitamin E derivatives such as tocopherol linoleate and tocopherol acetate in skin care products. Incidence is low despite widespread use. Drug interactions The amounts of alpha-tocopherol, other tocopherols and tocotrienols that are components of dietary vitamin E, when consumed from foods, do not appear to cause any interactions with drugs. Consumption of alpha-tocopherol as a dietary supplement in amounts in excess of 300 mg per day may lead to interactions with aspirin, warfarin, tamoxifen and cyclosporin A in ways that alter function. For aspirin and warfarin, high amounts of vitamin E may potentiate anti-blood clotting action. One small trial demonstrated that vitamin E at 400 mg per day reduced blood concentration of the anti-breast cancer drug tamoxifen. In multiple clinical trials, vitamin E lowered blood concentration of the immunosuppressant drug, cyclosporin A. The U.S. National Institutes of Health, Office of Dietary Supplements, raises a concern that co-administration of vitamin E could counter the mechanisms of anti-cancer radiation therapy and some types of chemotherapy, and so advises against its use in these patient populations. The references it cited reported instances of reduced treatment adverse effects, but also poorer cancer survival, raising the possibility of tumor protection from the intended oxidative damage by the treatments. Diet
Topic: Recommendations. The US Institute of Medicine, renamed National Academy of Medicine in 2015, updated estimated average requirements ears and recommended dietary allowances RDAs for vitamin E in 2000. The ear for vitamin E for women and men ages 14 and up is 12 mg per day. The RDA is 15 mg per day. RDAs are higher than ears so as to identify amounts that will cover people with higher than average requirements. For infants up to 12 months the adequate intake AI is 4 to 5 mg per day. As for safety, tolerable upper intake levels ULs are set for vitamins and minerals when evidence is sufficient. Hemorrhagic effects in rats were selected as the critical endpoint to calculate the UL via starting with the lowest observed adverse effect level and processing that through an uncertainty factor calculation. The end result was a UL set at 1000 mg per day. Collectively the EARS, RDAs, AIs and ULs are referred to as Dietary Reference Intakes DRIs. .The European Food Safety Authority EFSA refers to the collective set of information as Dietary Reference Values, with Population Reference Intake PRI instead of RDA, an average requirement instead of EAR. AI and UL defined the same as in United States. For women and men ages 10 and older the PRI are set at 11 and 13 mg per day, respectively. PRI for pregnancy is 11 mg per day, for lactation 11 mg per day. For children ages 1 to 9 years the pre-increase with age from 6 to 9 mg per day. These pre are lower than the US RDAs. The European Food Safety Authority reviewed the same safety question and set a UL at 300 mg per day. The EU used an effect on blood clotting as a critical effect, identified that no adverse effects were observed in a human trial as 540 mg per day, used an uncertainty factor of 2 to get to a suggest UL of 270 mg per day, then rounded up to 300 mg per day. The Japan National Institute of Health and Nutrition set lower AIs than the US RDAs or EU PRI, and intermediate ULs, 6.5 mg per day females and 7.0 mg per day males for adult AIs, and 650 to 700 mg per day females and 750 to 900 mg per day males for adult ULs, amount depending on age. India recommends an intake of 8 to 10 mg per day and does not set a UL. The World Health Organization recommends that adults consume 10 mg per day, consumption is below government recommendations. A worldwide summary of more than 100 studies reported a median dietary intake of 6.2 mg, d for alpha tocopherol. Government survey results in the U.S. reported average consumption for adult females at 8.4 mg, d and adult males 10.4 mg, d. Both are both below the RDA of 15 mg per day. Food labeling. For U.S. food and dietary supplement labeling purposes the amount in a serving is expressed as a percent of daily value percent DV. For vitamin E labeling purposes 100% of the daily value was 30 U, but as of May 27, 2016 it was revised to 15 mg to bring it into agreement with the RDA. A table of the old and new adult daily values is provided at reference daily intake. The original deadline to be in compliance was July 28, 2018, but on September 29, 2017 the FDA released a proposed rule that extended the deadline to January 1, 2020 for large companies and January 1, 2021 for small companies. European Union regulations require that labels declare energy, protein, fat, saturated fat, carbohydrates, sugars, and salt. Voluntary nutrients may be shown if present in significant amounts. Instead of daily values, amounts are shown as percent of reference intakes For vitamin E, 100% RE was set at 12 mg in 2011. Sources The U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA, Agricultural Research Services, maintains a food composition database. The last major revision was released 28, September 2015. In addition to the naturally occurring sources shown in the table, certain ready-to-eat cereals, infant formulas, liquid nutrition products and other foods are fortified with alpha-tocopherol. Topic. 
Topic: <inaudible> Supplements. Vitamin E is fat soluble, so dietary supplement products are usually in the form of the vitamin dissolved in vegetable oil in a soft gel capsule. For alpha tocopherol, amounts range from 100 to 1000 U per serving. Smaller amounts are incorporated into multivitamin mineral tablets. Gamma tocopherol and tocotrienol supplements are also available from dietary supplement companies. The latter are extracts from palm or annatto oils. Topic: <inaudible> Fortification. The World Health Organization does not have any recommendations for food fortification with vitamin E. The Food Fortification Initiative does not list any countries that have mandatory or voluntary programs for vitamin E. Infant formulas have alpha tocopherol as an ingredient. In some countries, certain brands of ready to eat cereals, liquid nutrition products, and other foods have alpha tocopherol as an added ingredient. Chemistry The nutritional content of vitamin E is defined by equivalency to 100% RRR configuration alpha tocopherol activity. The molecules that contribute alpha tocopherol activity are 4 tocopherols and 4 tocotrienols, within each group of 4 identified by the prefixes alpha, alpha beta, beta, gamma, gamma, and delta. delta. For alpha, alpha tocopherol, each of the three R Sites has a methyl group CH3 attached. For beta, beta tocopherol, R1. Topic: <inaudible> Methyl group, R2. H, R3. Equals methyl group. For gamma, gamma tocopherol, R1 equals H, R2. Topic. <inaudible> Methyl group, R3 Methyl group. For delta, delta tocopherol, R1 H, R2 H, R3. Equals methyl group. The same configurations exist for the tocotrienols, except that the hydrophobic side chain has three carbon-carbon double bonds whereas the tocopherols have a saturated side chain. Stereoisomers in addition to distinguishing tocopherols and tocotrienols by position of methyl groups, the tocopherols have a PHYTL tail with three chiral points or centers that can have a right or left orientation. The naturally occurring plant form of alpha tocopherol is RRR alpha tocopherol, also referred to as D tocopherol, whereas the synthetic form all racemic or all RAC vitamin E, also DL tocopherol, is equal parts of eight stereoisomers RRR, RRS, RSS, SSS, RSR, SRS, SRR, and SSR with progressively decreasing biological equivalency, so that 1.36 mg of DL tocopherol is considered equivalent to 1.8. O mg of D tocopherol, the natural form. Rephrased, the synthetic has 73.5% of the potency of the natural. Tocopherols Alpha tocopherol is a lipid soluble antioxidant functioning within the glutathione peroxidase pathway, and protecting cell membranes from oxidation by reacting with lipid radicals produced in the lipid peroxidation chain reaction. This removes the free radical intermediates and prevents the oxidation reaction from continuing. The oxidized alpha tocopheroxyl radicals produced in this process may be recycled back to the active reduced form through reduction by other antioxidants, such as ascorbate, retinol or ubiquinol. Other forms of vitamin E have their own unique properties, for example, gamma tocopherol is a nucleophile that can react with electrophilic mutagens. Equals 
The four tocotrienols alpha, beta, gamma, delta are similar in structure to the four tocopherols, with the main difference being that the former have hydrophobic side chains with three carbon-carbon double bonds, whereas the tocopherols have saturated side chains. For alpha, alpha tocotrienol each of the three R sites has a methyl group CH3 attached. For beta, beta tocotrienol, R1 equals methyl group, R2. HR3 Methyl group. For gamma, gamma tocotrienol, R1. HR2 Methyl group, R3. Equals methyl group. For delta, delta tocotrienol, R1 equals H, R2. HR3 Methyl group. Palm oil is a good source of alpha and gamma tocotrienols. Tocotrienols have only a single chiral center, which exists at the 2 feet chrominol ring carbon, at the point where the isoprenoid tail joins the ring. The other two corresponding centers in the phytal tail of the corresponding tocopherols do not exist as chiral centers for tocotrienols due to unsaturation CC double bonds at these sites. Tocotrienols extracted from plants are always dextrorotatory stereoisomers, signified as D-tocotrienols. In theory, levorotatory, L-tocotrienol forms of tocotrienols could exist as well, which would have a 2S rather than 2R configuration at the molecule's single chiral center, but unlike synthetic, DL-alpha tocopherol, the marketed tocotrienol dietary supplements are all D-tocotrienol extracts from palm or annatto oils. Preliminary clinical trials on dietary supplement tocotrienols indicate potential for anti-disease activity. Metabolism Tocotrienols and tocopherols, the latter including the stereoisomers of synthetic alpha-tocopherol, are absorbed from the intestinal lumen, incorporated into chylomicrons, and secreted into the portal vein, leading to the liver. Absorption efficiency is estimated at 51% to 86%, and that applies to all of the vitamin E family there is no discrimination among the vitamin E vitamers during absorption. Unabsorbed vitamin E is excreted via feces. Additionally, vitamin E is excreted by the liver via bile into the intestinal lumen, where it will either be reabsorbed or excreted via feces, and all of the vitamin E vitamins are metabolized and then excreted via urine. Upon reaching the liver, RRR alpha tocopherol is preferentially taken up by alpha tocopherol transfer protein. Alpha -TTP. All other forms are degraded to 2 carboxethyl 6 hydroxychromane CEHC, a process that involves truncating the phytic tail of the molecule, then either sulfated or glycuronidated. This renders the molecule's water soluble and leads to excretion via urine. Alpha tocopherol is also degraded by the same process to 2, 5, 7, 8 tetramethyl 2, 2 carboxyethyl minus 6 hydroxychromane alpha CEHC, but more slowly because it is partially protected by alpha TTP. Large intakes of alpha tocopherol result in increased urinary alpha CEHC, so this appears to be a means of disposing of excess vitamin E. Alpha tocopherol transfer protein is coded by the TTPA gene on chromosome 8. The binding site for RRR alpha tocopherol is a hydrophobic pocket with a lower affinity for beta, gamma, or delta tocopherols, or for the stereoisomers with an S configuration at the chiral 2 site. Tocotrienols are also a poor fit because the double bonds in the phytic tail create a rigid configuration that is a mematch with the alpha TTP pocket. A rare genetic defect of the TTPA gene results in people exhibiting a progressive neurodegenerative disorder known as ataxia with vitamin E deficiency AVED. Despite consuming normal amounts of vitamin E large amounts of alpha tocopherol as a dietary supplement are needed to compensate for the lack of alpha TTP The role of alpha TTP is to move alpha tocopherol to the plasma membrane of hepatocytes liver cells, wherein can be incorporated into newly created very low density lipoprotein VLD molecules. These convey alpha-tocopherol to cells in the rest of the body. 
As an example of a result of the preferential treatment, the U.S. diet delivers approximately 70 mg d of gamma tocopherol, and plasma concentrations are on the order of 2 to 5 micromole per liter. Meanwhile, dietary alpha tocopherol is about 7 mg d, but plasma concentrations are in the range of 11 to 37 micromole per liter. Affinity of alpha TTP for vitamin E vitamins. Topic: Testing for levels. A worldwide summary of more than 100 human studies reported a median of 22.1 micromole per liter for serum alpha tocopherol, and defined alpha tocopherol deficiency as less than 12 micromole per liter. It cited a recommendation that serum alpha tocopherol concentration be 30 micromole per liter to optimize health benefits. In contrast, the U.S. Dietary Reference Intake Text for Vitamin E concluded that a plasma concentration of 12 micromole per liter was sufficient to achieve normal ex vivo hydrogen peroxide induced hemolysis. A 2014 review defined less than 9 micromole per liter as deficient, 9 to 12 micromole per liter as marginal, and greater than 12 micromole per liter as adequate. Serum concentration increases with age. This is attributed to fact that vitamin E circulates in blood incorporated into lipoproteins, and serum lipoprotein concentrations increase with age. Infants and young children have a higher risk of being below the deficiency threshold. Cystic fibrosis and other fat malabsorption conditions can result in low serum vitamin E. Dietary supplements will raise serum vitamin E. Synthesis Biosynthesis Photosynthesizing plants, algae and cyanobacteria synthesize tocochromanols, the chemical family of compounds made up of four tocopherols and four tocotrienols. In a nutrition context this family is referred to as vitamin E. Biosynthesis starts with formation of the closed ring part of the molecule as homogentisic acid HGA. The side chain is attached saturated for tocopherols, polyunsaturated for tocotrienols. The pathway for both is the same, so that gamma is created and from that alpha, or delta is created and from that the beta compounds. Biosynthesis takes place in the plastids. As to why plants synthesize tocochrominols, the major reason appears to be for antioxidant activity. Different parts of plants, and different species, are dominated by different tocochromomols. The predominant form in leaves, and hence leafy green vegetables, is alpha tocopherol. Location is in chloroplast membranes, this in close proximity to the photosynthetic process. The function is to protect against damage from the ultraviolet radiation of sunlight. Under normal growing conditions the presence of alpha tocopherol does not appear to be essential, as there are other photoprotective compounds, and plant mutations that have lost the ability to synthesize alpha tocopherol demonstrate normal growth. However, under stressed growing conditions such as drought, elevated temperature or salt-induced oxidative stress, the plant's physiological status is superior if it has the normal synthesis capacity. Seeds are lipid-rich, to provide energy for germination and early growth. Tocochrominols protect the seed lipids from oxidizing and becoming rancid. The presence of tocochrominols extends seed longevity, and promotes successful germination and seedling growth. Gamma tocopherol dominates in seeds of most plant species, but there are exceptions. For canola, corn and soy bean oils, there is more gamma tocopherol than alpha tocopherol, but for safflower, sunflower and olive oils the reverse is true. Of the commonly used food oils, palm oil is unique in that tocotrienol content is higher than tocopherol content. Seed tocochrominol's content is also dependent on environmental stressors. In almonds, for example, drought or elevated temperature increase alpha tocopherol and gamma tocopherol content of the nuts. The same article mentions that drought increases the tocopherol content of olives, and heat likewise for soybeans. Industrial synthesis Naturally sourced D-alpha tocopherol can be extracted and purified from seed oils, or gamma tocopherol can be extracted, purified, and methylated to create D-alpha tocopherol. In contrast to alpha tocopherol extracted from plants, which is also called D-alpha tocopherol, industrial synthesis creates D-L-alpha tocopherol. 
It is synthesized from a mixture of toluene and 2,3,5-trimethylhydroquinone that reacts with isophytal to all RAC alpha tocopherol, using iron in the presence of hydrogen chloride gas as catalyst. The reaction mixture obtained is filtered and extracted with aqueous caustic soda. Toluene is removed by evaporation and the residue all RAC alpha tocopherol is purified by vacuum distillation. Specification for the ingredient is greater than 97% pure. This synthetic D-L-alpha tocopherol has approximately 50% of the potency of D-alpha tocopherol. Manufacturers of dietary supplements and fortified foods for humans or domesticated animals convert the phenol form of the vitamin to an ester using either acetic acid or succinic acid because the esters are more chemically stable, providing for a longer shelf life. The ester forms are de-esterified in the gut and absorbed as free alpha tocopherol. History Vitamin E was discovered in 1922 by Herbert McLean Evans and Catherine Scott Bishop and first isolated in a pure form by Evans and Gladys Anderson Emerson in 1935 at the University of California, Berkeley. Because the vitamin activity was first identified as a dietary fertility factor in rats it was given the name tocopherol from the Greek words tokos, tokos, birth, and ferrain, ferrain, to bear or carry meaning in some to carry a pregnancy, with the ending ol, signifying its status as a chemical alcohol. George M. Calhoun, professor of Greek at the University of California, was credited with helping with the naming process. Erhard Fernholz elucidated its structure in 1938 and shortly afterwards the same year, Paul Carrer and his team first synthesized it, nearly 50 years after the discovery of vitamin E an editorial in the Journal of the American Medical Association titled, Vitamin in Search of a Disease, read in part. Research revealed many of the vitamin's secrets, but no certain therapeutic use and no definite deficiency disease in man. The animal discovery experiments had been a requirement for successful pregnancy, but no benefits were observed for women prone to miscarriage. Evidence for vascular health was characterized as unconvincing. The editorial closed with mention of some preliminary human evidence for protection against hemolytic anemia in young children. A role for vitamin E in coronary heart disease had first been proposed in 1946. More cardiovascular work from the same research group followed, including a proposal that megadoses of vitamin E could slow down and even reverse the development of atherosclerosis. However, a 2004 meta-analysis showed no association between vitamin E supplementation and cardiovascular events non-fatal stroke or myocardial infarction or cardiovascular mortality. There is a long history of belief that topical application of vitamin E containing oil benefits burn and wound healing. This belief persists even though scientific reviews repeatedly refuted this claim. The role of vitamin E in infant nutrition has a long research history. From 1949 onward, there were trials with premature infants suggesting that oral alpha tocopherol was protective against edema, intracranial hemorrhage, hemolytic anemia, and retrolental fibroplasia. A 2003 Cochrane review concluded that vitamin E supplementation in preterm infants reduced the risk of intracranial hemorrhage and retinopathy, but noted an increased risk of sepsis. Research As of 2018 there are at least 10 trials actively recruiting subjects for conditions including liver disease, burn injury, skin aging, and type 2 diabetes. Older listings of trials, some published, had as topics exercise, infection, preventing atherosclerosis, burn injury, retinopathy in premature infants, male infertility and type 2 diabetes, observational studies that measure dietary intake and or serum concentration, and experimental studies that ideally are randomized clinical trials RCTs, are two means of examining the effects or lack thereof of a proposed intervention on human health. Healthcare outcomes are expected to be in accord between reviews of observational and experimental studies. If, however, there is a lack of agreement, then factors other than study design need to be considered. For the conditions described below, the results of RCTs do not always concur with the observational evidence. This could be a matter of amount. 
Observational studies compare low consumers to high consumers based on intake from food, whereas RCTS often used amounts of alpha tocopherol 20x to 30x higher than what can be achieved from food. Diets higher in vitamin E may contain other compounds that convey health benefits, so the observed effect may not be due to the vitamin E content. There is also a concern that supplementing with alpha tocopherol in multiples much higher than is possible via diet will suppress absorption and retention of other tocopherols, with unknown effects on health. Supplementing alpha tocopherol is known to reduce serum gamma and delta tocopherol concentrations. From one large survey, consumption of alpha tocopherol as a supplement lowered serum gamma tocopherol from 6.0 micromol L for people not consuming any supplement to 2.1 micromol L for those consuming greater than or equal to 400 U per day. Topic: <laughs> Age-related macular degeneration. The Cochrane Review published in 2017 on antioxidant vitamin and mineral supplements for slowing the progression of age-related macular degeneration AMD identified only one vitamin E clinical trial. That trial compared 500 U per day of alpha tocopherol to placebo for four years and reported no effect on the progression of AMD in people already diagnosed with the condition. Another Cochrane review, same year, same authors, reviewed the literature on alpha tocopherol preventing the development of AMD. This review identified four trials, duration 4 to 10 years, and reported no change to risk of developing AMD. A large clinical trial known as AREDS compared beta carotene 15 mg, vitamin C 500 mg, and alpha tocopherol 400 U to placebo for up to 10 years with a conclusion that the antioxidant combination significantly slowed progression. However, because there was no group in the trial receiving only vitamin E, no conclusions could be drawn as to the contribution of the vitamin to the effect. Topic. Alzheimer's disease Alzheimer's disease AD and vascular dementia are common causes of decline of brain functions that occur with age. AD is a chronic neurodegenerative disease that worsens over time. The disease process is associated with plaques and tangles in the brain. Vascular dementia can be caused by ischemic or hemorrhagic infarcts affecting multiple brain areas, including the anterior cerebral artery territory, the parietal lobes, or the cingulate gyrus. Both types of dementia may be present. Vitamin E status and that of other antioxidant nutrients is conjectured as having a possible impact on risk of Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia. A review of dietary intake studies reported that higher consumption of vitamin E from foods lowered the risk of developing AD by 24%. A second review examined serum vitamin E levels and reported lower serum vitamin E in AD patients compared to healthy, age-matched people. A Cochrane review reported on vitamin E as treatment for mild cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's disease. Based on evidence from only one trial in each of the categories, the authors' conclusions were that there was not sufficient evidence for supplemental vitamin E preventing the progression from MCI to dementia, but that it did slow functional decline in people with AD. Given the small number of trials and subjects, the authors recommended further research. In 2017 a consensus statement from the British Association for Psychopharmacology included that until further information is available, vitamin E cannot be recommended for treatment or prevention of Alzheimer's disease. Cancer An inverse relationship between dietary vitamin E and kidney cancer risk was reported in a meta-analysis of observational studies. The relative risk reduction was 19% when highest and lowest intake groups were compared. The authors concluded that randomized controlled trials RCTs are needed. An inverse relationship between dietary vitamin E and bladder cancer was reported in a meta-analysis of observational studies. The relative risk reduction was 18% when highest and lowest intake groups were compared. The authors concluded that large prospective studies are needed to confirm this association. A very large multi-year comparing placebo to an all-RAC alpha tocopherol group consuming 400 U per day reported no statistically significant difference in bladder cancer cases. 
An inverse relationship between dietary vitamin E and lung cancer risk was reported in a meta-analysis of observational studies. The relative risk reduction was 16% when highest and lowest intake groups were compared. The benefit was progressive as dietary intake increased from 2 mg per day to 16 mg per day. The authors noted that the findings needs to be confirmed by prospective studies. One such large trial, which compared 50 mg alpha tocopherol to placebo in male tobacco smokers, reported no impact on lung cancer. A very large trial, which tracked people who chose to consume a vitamin E dietary supplement, reported an increased risk of lung cancer for those consuming more than 215 mg per day. For prostate cancer, there are conflicting results. A meta analysis based on serum alpha tocopherol content reported an inverse correlation, with the difference between lowest and highest a 21% reduction in relative risk. In contrast, a meta-analysis of observational studies reported no relationship for dietary vitamin E intake. There were also conflicting results from large RCTs. The ATBC trial administered placebo or 50 mg per day alpha tocopherol to male tobacco smokers for 5 to 8 years and reported a 32% decrease in the incidence of prostate cancer. Conversely, the select trial of selenium and vitamin E for prostate cancer enrolled men ages 55 or older, mostly non-smokers, to consume a placebo or a 400U per day dietary supplement. It reported relative risk as a statistically significant 17% higher for the vitamin group. For colorectal cancer, a systematic review identified RCTs of vitamin E and placebo followed for 7 to 10 years. There was a non-significant 11% decrease in relative risk. The SELECT trial men over 55 years, placebo or 400 U per day also reported on colorectal cancer. There was a non-significant 3% increase in adenoma occurrence compared to placebo. The Women's Health Study compared placebo to 600 U of natural source vitamin E on alternate days for an average of 10.1 years. There were no significant differences for incidences of all types of cancer, cancer deaths, or for breast, lung, or colon cancers. Potential confounding factors are the form of vitamin E used in prospective studies and the amounts. Synthetic, racemic mixtures of vitamin E isomers are not bioequivalent to natural, non racemic mixtures, yet are widely used in clinical trials and as dietary supplement ingredients. One review reported a modest increase in cancer risk with vitamin E supplementation while stating that more than 90% of the cited clinical trials use the synthetic, racemic form DL-alpha tocopherol. Cancer health claims The USA Food and Drug Administration initiated a process of reviewing and approving food and dietary supplement health claims in 1993. Reviews of petitions results in proposed claims being rejected or approved. If approved, specific wording is allowed on package labels. In 1999 a second process for claims review was created. If there is not a scientific consensus on the totality of the evidence, a qualified health claim QHC may be established. The FDA does not approve qualified health claim petitions. Instead, it issues a letter of enforcement discretion that includes very specific claim language and the restrictions on using that wording. The first QHCs relevant to vitamin E were issued in 2003. Some scientific evidence suggests that consumption of antioxidant vitamins may reduce the risk of certain forms of cancer. In 2009 the claims became more specific, allowing that vitamin E might reduce the risk of renal, bladder and colorectal cancers, but with required mention that the evidence was deemed weak and the claimed benefits highly unlikely. A petition to add brain, cervical, gastric and lung cancers was rejected. A further revision, May 2012, allowed that vitamin E may reduce risk of renal, bladder and colorectal cancers, with a more concise qualifier sentence added, FDA has concluded that there is very little scientific evidence for this claim. Any company product label making the cancer claims has to include a qualifier sentence. The European Food Safety Authority EFSA reviews proposed health claims for the European Union countries. As of March 2018, EFSA has not evaluated any vitamin E and cancer prevention claims. Cataracts 
A meta-analysis from 2015 reported that for studies which reported serum tocopherol, higher serum concentration was associated with a 23% reduction in relative risk of age-related cataracts arc, with the effect due to differences in nuclear cataract rather than cortical or posterior subcapsular cataract, the three major classifications of age-related cataracts. However, this article and a second meta-analysis reporting on clinical trials of alpha-tocopheryl supplementation reported no statistically significant change to risk of ARC when compared to placebo. Cardiovascular <inaudible> diseases <inaudible> 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 Research on the effects of vitamin E on cardiovascular disease has produced conflicting results. In theory, oxidative modification of LDL cholesterol promotes blockages in coronary arteries that lead to atherosclerosis and heart attacks, so vitamin E functioning as an antioxidant would reduce oxidized cholesterol and lower risk of cardiovascular disease. Vitamin E status has also been implicated in the maintenance of normal endothelial cell function of cells lining the inner surface of arteries, anti-inflammatory activity and inhibition of platelet adhesion and aggregation. An inverse relation has been observed between coronary heart disease and the consumption of foods high in vitamin E, and also higher serum concentration of alpha tocopherol. In one of the largest observational studies, almost 90,000 healthy nurses were tracked for eight years. Compared to those in the lowest fifth for reported vitamin E consumption from food and dietary supplements, those in the highest fifth were at a 34% lower risk of major coronary disease. The problem with observational studies is that these cannot confirm a relation between the lower risk of coronary heart disease and vitamin E consumption because of confounding factors. Diet higher in vitamin E may also be higher in other, unidentified components that promote heart health, or people choosing such diets may be making other healthy lifestyle choices. There is some supporting evidence from randomized clinical trials. RCTs. A meta-analysis on the effects of alpha-tocopherol supplementation in RCTs on aspects of cardiovascular health reported that when consumed without any other antioxidant nutrient, the relative risk of heart attack was reduced by 18%. The results were not consistent for all of the individual trials incorporated into the meta-analysis. For example, the Physicians Health Study 2 did not show any benefit after 400 U every other day for 8 years, for heart attack, stroke, coronary mortality or all-cause mortality. The HOPE, HOPE 2 trial, which enrolled people with pre-existing vascular disease or diabetes into a multi-year trial of 400 U per day, reported a higher risk of heart failure in the alpha tocopherol group. The effects of vitamin E supplementation on incidence of stroke were summarized in 2011. There were no significant benefits for vitamin E versus placebo. Subset analysis for ischemic stroke, hemorrhagic stroke, fatal stroke, non-fatal stroke, all no significant difference in risk. Likewise for subset analysis of natural or synthetic vitamin E, or only above or below 300 U per day, or whether the enrolled people were healthy or considered to be at higher than normal risk. The authors concluded that there was a lack of clinically important benefit of vitamin E supplementation in the prevention of stroke. One large, multi-year study in which postmenopausal women consumed either placebo or 600 U of natural sourced vitamin E on alternate days reported no effect on stroke, but did report a 21% reduction in relative risk of developing a deep vein clot or pulmonary embolism. The beneficial effect was strongest as the subset of women who had a history of a prior thrombotic event or who were genetically coded for clot risk factor V Leiden or prothrombin mutation. Cardiovascular health claims In 2001 the U.S. Food and Drug Administration rejected proposed health claims for vitamin E and cardiovascular health. The U.S. National Institutes of Health reviewed literature published up to 2008 and concluded in general, clinical trials have not provided evidence that routine use of vitamin E supplements prevents cardiovascular disease or reduces its morbidity and mortality. The European Food Safety Authority (EFSA) reviews proposed health claims for the European Union countries. In 2010, the EFSA reviewed and rejected claims that a cause and effect relationship has been established between the dietary intake of vitamin E and maintenance of normal cardiac function or of normal blood circulation. Topic: 
Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease Alpha tocopherol can be used in the treatment of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease (NAFLD) and the more extreme subset known as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis (NASH). A meta-analysis reported that in controlled trials, vitamin E significantly reduced elevated liver enzymes, steatosis, inflammation, and fibrosis. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Parkinson's disease. There is an observed inverse correlation seen with dietary vitamin E, but no confirming evidence from placebo-controlled clinical trials. A meta-analysis published in 2005 concluded that diets higher in vitamin E content lowered risk of developing Parkinson's disease. From what appears to be the only clinical trial of tocopherol supplementation in people with early Parkinson's disease, 2,000 U per day for 14 months had no effect on rate of disease progression. Topic. Pregnancy Antioxidant vitamins as dietary supplements have been proposed as having benefits if consumed during pregnancy. For the combination of vitamin E with vitamin C supplemented to pregnant women, a Cochrane review concluded that the data do not support vitamin E supplementation. Majority of trials alpha tocopherol at 400 U per day plus vitamin C at 1000 mg per day, as being efficacious for reducing risk of stillbirth, neonatal death, preterm birth, preeclampsia, or any other maternal or infant outcomes, either in healthy women or those considered at risk for pregnancy complications. The review identified only three small trials in which vitamin E was supplemented without co-supplementation with vitamin C. None of these trials reported any clinically meaningful information. Topic. Topical Although there is widespread use of tocopherol acetate as a topical medication, with claims for improved wound healing and reduced scar tissue, reviews have repeatedly concluded that there is insufficient evidence to support these claims. There are reports of vitamin E-induced allergic contact dermatitis from use of vitamin E derivatives such as tocopherol linoleate and tocopherol acetate in skin care products. Incidence is low despite widespread use. See also Tocopherol Tocotrienol <tocotrienol> <tocotrienol>